Hello, I'm back, and today I have some pretty interesting updates for you guys. I'm just going to show you some of them. As you can see here, I have burst, full auto, and single shot. Single shot just works as single shots do. There's a delay for how fast you can fire. And burst. As you can hear, it's really fast, but um, I can't really fire the bursts uh, unlimited, so um, there's a delay between the bursts, so like this. And there's also full auto. And now for another thing. Just give me a sec. I'm just gonna modify uh, a blueprint off screen. Maybe I have the assault rifle. Well, actually, I can show you. Um, I have the stats of the weapon, and I I have a jam risk, a risk of it jamming, and right now it's set to zero. I'm just gonna set it to five that's pretty high when you have a full auto weapon so let's see how that goes and it's jammed and I have I can fix the jam and it's jammed again so that's another feature and I'm just gonna edit another blueprint let's show one last thing I've made and basically, it's. I tried um, doing some alternative weapons, and yeah, bear with me. This is supposed to be a bow. It looks like a gun, sounds like a gun, but it should shoot like a bow. As you can see, it's not very fast. And. It, there's quite a bit of crap on it, but it just it, it really shows how flexible the system is. And also, I've implemented what I would call realistic drag. I'm just going to find the blueprint and maybe show a bit of it. It's It's pretty complex, but basically we have a velocity, we have a length of this vector and we do a whole lot of math to apply the drag and this drag um, model is pretty accurate um, when you configure a weapon you can set the bullet mass and right now it's 7.8 grams and that's roughly the the standard weight for um, an AK-47 bullet and it also has a diameter which is 7.62 millimeters, which is also uh, roughly how uh, an AK is. And then we have a drag variable, and this goes between 0 and 1, 0 being very little drag. Well, actually, you can't... There's a bug in this. Uh, the math break down, breaks down when you go really low on drag or really high on caliber, but if you have if you do a reasonable bullet uh, a realistic bullet the model works perfectly and um, what what this does is that we can actually make a weapon that accounts for the size of the bullet because there's more drag with that and um, yeah heavier bullets they fly longer and they keep their speed speed for longer so that's also pretty pretty nice I would say um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this.